Hey, it's Diva EW from PurpleDivaEmpire.com. I had a couple questions today on how to use the Inspect Element tool with Google Chrome and Firefox. So I was, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial to show you how to use the Inspect Element tool and the benefits from using it. What the Inspect Element tool does is it basically helps you develop your website after it's already on the internet. It helps you be able to locate where code is on your actual web website and on the code and it also lets you edit some of the code through your website and you can actually edit it without making changes to any of your actual files on your website. I'm going to go ahead and right now we are at opogame.com on Firefox and in order to use the inspect element tool you just right click with your mouse and you have two options to with firefox you can get you can use the inspect element tool that just comes with firefox or the inspect element with firebug now i like the inspect element with firebug it just has more features and it's a little bit easier to use for me so what you do is you just do inspect element with firebug and as you can see it actually shows the code of your website in order to actually inspect a certain image or a certain part of code you have to click on this little arrow with the box so you click on that and you can just hover over and you can see that this is called that this little section right here is called div it's in the div and it's called pad and you can tell that it has some Google AdSense code in it and you can also you can go ahead and you can change some of the actual code for it and you can go ahead and change the padding you can change and see how it would look actually without that if we click on the inspect element tool you can see that the main logo is in the header and it's on the left side of the page and it's the logo because it, it's in the header tag for the logo and you can tell that the image itself is in a f it's on opogame.com and it's in a folder called images and it's logo.ping if you hover over it you can actually tell that it's 300 pixels by 87 pixels. You can see that it's 300 pixels wide and 87 pixels height. And if you want to see what this would look like, what the website would look like without this logo, what you would do is you just would delete that logo, delete this part right here, and that's what it would look like. Now if you decided that you do want it back, you all you have to do is reload the web page and it's back and the code that you deleted is right there so it actually didn't delete it on the actual website just deleted it from the page that you were looking at so you could do web development with it. That's what I really like about the inspect element tool. It's without making changes, I can make changes to the website without making changes to the actual files. I mean, if I decided that I wanted this this part right here since it's actually oh, it's in the ID called social buttons. We can go ahead and we can try and make changes to it so if you do that and let's say I wanted I decided I wanted it in the center instead of the right what you would do is you would just add center right there and it would add it right there and if you decided that you wanted it back you could just you can just change it back to whatever to wherever you wanted it if you decided that you didn't like the text align code you can go ahead and turn see what it would look like without without it. Now as you can tell is it, 
if the text align right was actually taken, then your website would look like this, which doesn't look very good. So I know that I wouldn't want to change that. I mean, I might want to actually change it to the center, because that looks a little bit, I, that looks good, but I actually like like it on the right on the right hand side better. Now we can go ahead and you can change the actual font. You can see how it would look like without the font. You can see what those files would look like without the font. It changes some of the font for you. And that's what the inspect element tool does is it just helps you look at your site and it helps you make changes without changing anything for anyone else. So if you decide that you do decide that you want, for instance, if you decide that you do want this part to be center, then you would just go ahead and you would actually change your file, whatever file it's in. I can tell that this is in the round squares.css because it says so right there. So I would go ahead and I would find my round squares.css file on my website and I would change this little code. And then I would upload it to my website and it would be and it would actually change it. So that's that's how you go ahead and use the inspect element tool. That's the one in Firefox. Let's go ahead and show you the one in Chrome. So here we are in Google Chrome. In order to use the inspect element tool in Google Chrome, it's the same thing. You right click and you go down to inspect element. And then while it's loading, you can go ahead and click the inspect element tool and then you can go ahead and you see it's shows the same thing as the firebug but the only thing that's different with this is uh, you can't go ahead and make actual changes to the actual code for the images but if you go ahead and double click on that you can see what the image how big it is the file size and where it's located so if we were to go back and click on this can go ahead and we can change that that's the same thing as what it did in Firefox it's just a little different layout the inspect element tool it works the both in the in Firefox and Chrome it works the same it's just a little different of a layout I tend to like the Firefox the firebug better than the Google Chrome because it's a little cleaner you can you can change more code than in the actual firebug so you can you know we can go ahead and play with it see how it would look if we got that taken care of then if we did float if we got rid of float we wouldn't we would decide that we wouldn't like that because it completely changed everything else. So we would go ahead and put that back and it's back to normal and the website didn't actually change it just shows you what the website would look like if you made that change. And that's what's so powerful about the inspect element tool. You can also get the inspect element tool for Internet Explorer but I don't use Internet Explorer very much. The only time I use it, it is to double check that my website is cross-platform. So my website works in Internet Explorer, it works in Chrome, it works in Firefox, and I just do a quick browser check. So that's how you use the Inspect Element tool. If you have any other questions, go ahead and you can send me a message, and you can ask me, and I will go ahead and answer all your questions. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.